In this video, we're going to show you how to use the new strafe target feature of ngcharacters.movement helper. So first things first, we'll go find the demos. We'll just fire up anyone. I'll just pick the uh, old input manager. So this is just a straight up MMLC demo, nothing special, no special features, anything like that. And now we will add our component. So you can go down to examples runtime and pull up example strafe target and drag that in, or you can search for it in the add component either way. So we'll pick a key. I'm going to use the Q key, hopefully. There we go. Um, character will be set. And this toggle strafe enabled with target toggle means if it's true, whenever you enable the strafe target, the strafe will also be enabled. And whenever you disable the strafe target, strafe will also be disabled. So it makes a work and lock step, but you can just choose which way you want it. We need a strafe target. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a, uh, let's just create a cylinder. And we'll set this to small. I'll just go ahead and move it out of the way here. So that we have a target to run around. Get rid of the capsule collider because obviously we don't need to run into it or anything like that. And now we'll go back to the player character. We'll look at our strafe target. We drag the cylinder in here and we are done. So now whenever I hit the, oh no, did I say ampersand? That is not ideal. Let's go put that back to Q. So now I'm running normally and when I hit Q, there it is. I'm now circling around the thing. I can hit Q again. I go back out to normal behavior. I hit Q again. And sure enough, I'm now facing this thing. So here we'll go ahead. And there you go. Now looking at the code for the strafe target example, it uses a simple key processor, which we'll just walk into real quick. This is a, uh, just a little helper script I made that allows very quick prototyping of any kind of key toggle based or key interaction. So you have the key code that it uses and all it does is set, set up a character instance for you. And if the key is down, it calls handle key down, which is an abstract function. So we'll go back and we'll notice that we have the only function we have in here is a handle key down. And so the parameters that we talked toggle strafe, enabling strafe toggle that is uh, already explained. And then the strafe target itself. So if you go down here, I have this uh, protected Boolean that carries the state of whether or not we're running with a strafe target enabled in MMLC. So if that strafe is set, then all we do is clear the strafe target and we pass in the toggle because that the, uh, here, I'll show you the parameter for this is whether to exit strafe. Um, same thing with the set strafe target. So if the strafe target isn't set and we actually have one set up as the strafe target. We will call set strafe target with that transform and then the same toggle, whether or not we want to enter strafe at that moment when we set it. And that's really it. 